guys. Welcome back to Ashley's Homestead Adventures. And today we are headed out to the barn. We gotta do morning chores and get everybody fed and happy. And then I need to get my barn clean. And so I'm gonna take you along for that. And uh, just in case anybody does anything silly, which in my barn, it happens frequently. So I'll take you guys along with me uh, to watch the animals have a good time. All the babies get to get let out in the barn and run amok and create a ruckus. I'm packing my trusty mug today. Thank you to my beautiful friends. Uh, and it is full of sweet tea today for a little bit of extra oomph. And who knows what else we'll get into. Every day is an adventure. Let's just see where it takes us. Come along. over and then drooled all over him. Oh God. Hold on folks. anymore. Miss Velvet gets to take her morning grain outside today. In her pasture. Oh, the girls are out. Playing outside. Daisy. She says, I don't know about this outside stuff. Look at that beautiful compost pile. I'm so proud of that. Oh my goodness, can you hear Reese's? Okay. I am going. Okay, I took a little extra time this morning and I put up the net, the electric netting, and we are going to try and let the sheep girls out in the netting today so that they have a pasture to come outside to temporarily until we get their permanent pasture made. I'm gonna give this a try. I have attached it to Velvet's fence so it will be electrified and we will see the problem with wool sheep and electric fence is if they haven't been trained to it from the time they're a baby it they don't feel it through the wool so they literally have to touch it with their nose so we'll see how this goes this could be a complete and total circus uh, they have gotten used to the electric fence being up with velvet and they know that the white tape means shock so my hope is two things that they will respect the net and that Velvet will have company while she's out here, which will hopefully maybe calm her nerves for being outside by herself in this wide open space. We will see. Mr. King, how are you today? Hmm? Okay, I have tested my fence. I have my trusty bucket of alfalfa pellets to lead my girls out there. I've done everything right up until now. I'm going to leave the camera rolling so we don't miss anything. Come on, girls. Let's see how this goes. So 
so far, so good. Okay, we have three sheep out of the barn. No cows, that's good. Woohoo! <laughs> you excited to be outside? Okay. Lisa is leading the way. Come on, girls. There we go. Okay. Get you in your spot. And we're going to pour out your stuff here. Okay. Now that that's done, go to the bucket. I really want to get the fence turned on before they get done eating. Okay. Fence is on. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna go in the barn and just leave them alone. Guys coming in? Well, that went a lot better than I thought it was gonna go. Just getting them out there. Getting them in will be easy. As far as getting them in tonight, it's just a matter of if they stay in that fence. And it's Oreo that I'm worried about, the black face one. Because she's the one who's always testing fences. I thought maybe that was you, buddy. Coming over here to get some lovins? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reese's was checking it out. Meanwhile, Forrest has come over here for some lovins. some point I'm gonna have to quit watching them and go back to work I need to get them some water out there Forrest has got the zoomies Billy Jean <laughs> He's off again. Uh oh. Broncos in on it. Rumor, that's a no. Are you done?
The next task is cleaning my brooders. These are my Kaku Morans. They are in their first day of having the light off during the day, and then it gets turned back on at nighttime. And this is my heavy mix, and they are lights off 100% of the time, and they will go outside next week, so they're acclimating. They're all napping. I'm gonna disturb their nap, but their beds need cleaned and waters and food need re needs refilled. All right. The babies are all clean and fresh water and food. See, you're already starting to scratch. That's good. A couple weeks and you guys will be going outside. These guys cause all kinds of trouble. I got a clean bed and clean water and food. I'm not hurting them, babe. They get to go outside next week. Just clean their beds. They are ready for more space. But unfortunately, their bodies aren't quite acclimated, so better to be safe than sorry. Now, my feed room is a mess. So I'm going to rectify that. Spiffy clean. Look at these jokers. Did you guys find a comfy bed in the sheep pen? Oh. Hmm? Yeah? You comfortable? That's good. Well, King has been out and about enjoying his time. He's dragging a rope so that if I need to, I can control him. He's become quite the uh, testosterone filled boy. We'll just say that. Got his bed fluffed and clean, and the calves are over here hiding from him. Oh boy. Are you about done? Hmm? Wanna go in? play boy games with you. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you got a new bed. It's kind of exciting, huh? Stay there. If you were nicer, I could leave you out, but you can't even let the dogs in here when you're out. Look at this diva. Laying down, eating green hay. And all clean. 
Not that they care. They're still over making themselves to home in the sheep pen. It's a block licking party. Okay, velvet section is clean and now taken over by calves. And this is the last section. It's always the hardest. Here we go. Okay, I'm just about in time for dinner time. I got the girls' pen all turned and all the wet stuff pulled out. And then of course I rake all the hay, all the waste hay from over here and it goes into their pen. And uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, the girls don't need fed for a while. And to make myself feel better, this is all of the bedding hay that I've been pulling off of our big bales that came off of our pasture that got rained on. So this is not feed hay that's in their pen, but good golly, when you fluff it all up, it's, I mean, it's two feet deep in places. So anywho, uh, I'm gonna get these hooligans locked up and grained, and then we will get grain for Missy Velvet and the three girl sheep. Who are... Quite enjoying their time outside. They're good and relaxed. They've been eating and foraging all day and then laying down and chewing their cud. Looks like Missy Velvet is still working on her morning grain. She's been out there grazing. Grass is better than grain. The animals will tell you that if you let them. Excuse me, what are you doing in here? I'm just checking to see if uh, dinner's almost uh, ready yet. It's coming. All of you? Really? <laughs> you guys have been out all day. And now you're going to come in here and bother me. I'm getting it. Hey. Lord. Okay, we're gonna have to close this door. Watch out, ups. Get out! Shh. Oh boy. Get out! Good gravy. It's coming. Come on, let's go get it. Okay. 
They're happy. Also, so much for a clean feed room floor. Oy. Okay, let's go get the girls. See if I can let them out and velvet out at the same time. I'm just asking for trouble. I got grain though. Coming. Just a second. Respect the boundaries. Okay, I'm trusting you. I'll meet you there. Velvet, you know where to go. It's not listening at the moment. I'll deal with that once I get these guys in. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on. Lord, have mercy. Oh my God. There you go. Velvet's coming in. A dog just came in. Where in the hell did she go? Velv? Okay, so I came back out. I don't know how much of that you guys got. I had you in my hands, but I was running and Velvet was nowhere to be found. And So anyway, long story short, I popped out of the barn after putting the sheep away. Velvet was nowhere to be seen. I found out from a neighbor that she ran all the way down the gravel road in the back. And then I caught her in the back of the barn and she... I cornered her back there and she was still all hyped up. And so then she bailed over the embankment on the left here and came down to this pasture down here. So I ran all the way around the other side of the barn and popped out right here. And this pasture looked exactly the way that you guys are looking at it right now. There is no horse here. So I thought, oh my God, She's back behind the barn again. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna run through the barn, stop in the tack room and get gray. Because mind you, the bucket that I had in my hand, I had just fed to the sheep girls. And she didn't care if I had a bucket in my hand, but I thought, well, if I could shake some grain, maybe I can get her to stop long enough I can catch her. And I go here, in here to get grain. And I just so happen to look out there. And that is the picture that I got. She's standing in her pen eating her grain. <sighs> Lord, I tell you sometimes, I think these animals just think it's funny to exercise their fat mom. Oh. Anywho. Everybody is in now. Come on. I'm buttoning down 
the barn for the night. I did not plan on spending all night out there, or all, all night, all day out there, but here we are. It took me that long to do it with the interruptions and the other things that went on today. But it was a beautiful day in the barn and my barn is now clean and I'm happy about that and my horse is safe and didn't hurt herself running around like a maniac. And now I am headed, I'm filthy, as you can see. I am headed out to go check on the sheep pasture, see if I need to reset it to be a different pasture tomorrow. And I'm calling it a night, you guys. I worked my tail off today, and then Velvet just gave me that last, you know. You know how, like, when your workout instructor tells you you push the hardest in the last 10 seconds of your workout? Yeah, well, I'm farm fit, and Velvet just did that for me. So I hope you guys had a beautiful day. I will catch you on the next one. Yours truly.